Hello and welcome back to the boat sheet. Today we're taking another look at getting off the dock against a wind which is blowing you on. A viewer, 64 Brooksy, watched our film about this and asked a really good question. Whether this cheat would work in boat with props aft of the rudders? Thanks for the question, 64 Brooksy. You're right, this does require a different technique. So this video is specifically for getting off the dock against a wind in a twin with the props behind the rudders, boats like lagoons, of which there are hundreds in charter fleets around the world. This might seem like a strange arrangement, but it does have some engineering and maintenance advantages in a catamaran. 64 Brooksy also gave us an idea. If you have a really great cheat you want to share, or if there's anything you find tricky or that you wish there was a cheat for, then please comment below any of our videos and we'll add it to our to-do list. Let's get straight into it. Before you start, turn the helm fully away from the dock. A bit of friction is useful so you can let go of the wheel, but don't put so much on that you can't override it if you need to. When you're ready to go, get the line slipped, leaving the most windward breast line until last. When the lines are slipped, put the engine nearest the dock into forward idle and the other engine into reverse idle. Let's have a look at the forces that we've just set up. The port engine is left of the centre of gravity, so its forward thrust vector creates a turning moment to starboard. The starboard engine is right of the centre of gravity, so its aft thrust vector also creates a turning moment to starboard. The port forward thrust and the starboard aft thrust cancel each other out, so the boat doesn't accelerate forwards or aft. However, the turning moment to starboard remains. But the rudders are also creating forces. The prop wash from the starboard engine creates a strong thrust vector to starboard. This force is aft of the centre of gravity, so it creates a turning moment to port. Meanwhile, the port engine is drawing water past the rudder, which creates a very small thrust vector to port. Now this force is also after the centre of gravity, so it creates a very small turning moment to starboard. The large starboard rudder thrust vector to starboard is only slightly cancelled out by the very small port rudder thrust vector to port. This leaves a residual thrust vector to starboard. The large turning moment of the starboard rudder works against the turning moment of the engines, and the smaller turning moment of the port rudder works with the turning moment of the engines. These three combine and they result in a smaller turning moment to starboard. Let's now look at what these forces will do to the boat. To do that, we need to put them back where they were measured from, i.e. the boat's centre of gravity. As you can see, the boat will move away from the dock and turn slowly away from it at the same time. If it doesn't move, then the force of the wind is greater than the residual thrust vectors, so simply increase power equally on both engines, little by little, until the boat starts to move. If the boat starts to drift forwards or backwards with the elements, simply increase thrust a little on the appropriate engine. Once the bow is well clear of any boats or other obstructions, put the engine that was in reverse into neutral and increase thrust a little on the engine in forward, which will keep the boat tracking gently into wind to avoid it being blown back to leeward. Steer where you want to go and finally bring the other engine into forward gear and away you go. A quick summary. Moving the boat sideways against a breeze in a lagoon or any boat with props after the rudders. Turn the helm fully away from the dock. Let go all lines. Set the engine nearest the dock to forward idle and the other engine to aft idle. If the boat doesn't move, increase power on both engines a little at a time until it moves. If the bow moves forward towards an obstruction, increase thrust as necessary on the engine in reverse. If the boat moves aft towards an obstruction, increase thrust as necessary on the engine in forward. When the bow is well clear of obstructions, 
set the engine in reverse to neutral. Steer as required and then set the engine in neutral to forward as required. Don't forget if you've got any cheats you want to share or cheats you want to hear about just comment below any of our videos.